I think you're going to see some dramatic changes the way we think uh, about these cars and the accessibility in terms of the price points and stuff. But we're still seven to ten years away from a mass switch over. What can Apple do for the car market? If you think about a car, what's a car? A car has batteries, it has a computer, it has a motor, and it has mechanical structure. If you look at an iPhone, it has all the same things. It even has a motor in it. So if you try to say and scale it up and go, oh my God, I can make a car with those same components. There's some truth to that. But the hard stuff is really on the connectivity and how cars could be self-driving and those kinds of things. Really hard and it's all software and services. I think that when you look at either Google's self-driving car program or the alleged Apple thing, it's all looking at it through that lens of software first. Did you ever talk to Steve about building a car? Yes. What did he we say? Did. What did you talk about? Oh, we had a couple of walks, and this was in 2008, about if we were to build a car, what would we build? And we were just, you know, just crazy like looking at, oh, what would a dashboard be? And what would this be? What would seats be? How would you f fuel it or power it? But at the end, it was always like, we're so busy. We're so constrained. We can't, you know, it would be great to do it, but we can't. So when Steve was alive, was this something that he was like, we're not doing this. We're not doing this right now. Well, there was a lot of things we said no to. You know, people said, well, at the end of the day, why didn't, we, why didn't the iPod turn into a really great video camera? TVs was another one. But at the end of the day, what was the biggest one that had the biggest uh, dramatic impact on the world was the cell phones. And so we said, okay, we're going to focus all our energy on that. Forget all this other stuff. Those are interesting. We'll let some other company do it. Let's focus on really big market that could have incredible impact well beyond Steve's reign as, as CEO. Google's taking it on too with self-driving cars. Yes, right? it's great. They blow my mind every time I go over there and talk to Chris or Sergey and see what's going on. And it feels like I'm being driven around by a professional driver. Regardless of whether it's a taxi or Uber or Lyft or any of these things, I, you know, I love those services. But most people who drive do not know how to drive. They just don't. Even if they do it every day for a living, they don't know how to drive. They're not professionals at it. How do they make these cars safe, drive well, but also well-designed and desirable? Sure. To me, self-driving cars have already caught up with consumers because that's what Uber is. It's a self-driving car. It just happens to be a person is driving it. So as far as I'm concerned, they've already made that choice. Now, how do you just make it even better and an even more pleasurable experience?